Remember when I said that the mouth did some fairly intense stuff under the hood? Well, you can't really access all of it, but you can access some of it. The harmony section, accessed by pressing the music note button, gives you access to the harmony synth. The detune gate section and the input section, the synth section, and the vocoder section. Though everything is divided up into sections within the harmony section, when it comes to the synth and vocoder, they actually work together. Vocoders rely on a synthesizer's input and a mic input in the real world. It's no different here. We'll come back to the input section when we get around to doing harmonies. For the moment, let's just look on the synth and vocoder sections. The mode within the synth section has a dramatic effect on your sound right off the bat and how the synthesizer follows along with you. Let's start off by just hearing the unison mode. In this mode, up to eight voices can be stacked in unison to give you that really, really fat vocoder sound. I'm personally a huge fan of this type of sound when it comes to making my own vocoder patches. If you choose two or four voice mode, then you can get up to two or four voices to be used for each note of the synthesizer. The intervals that the harmonies are singing back with will be determined by the interval numbers that you choose within the now ungrade intervals, one and two. Let me show you four so you can hear the difference. When switched to poly, you can use many single voices of the internal synthesizer at once. And you can get seriously funky with this setting. I'll press the interval up button with all intervals in the harmony section cause the voice to move up above the first note instead of below it. Next, let's take a look at the Synth Sub-Preset menu and how it affects your overall vocoder sound. 